Welcome back to Blue Soul Community. If you're new to my channel, I'm Abby, but you can call me Blue. We're here to talk all things metaphysics with the aim to raise the vibrations of the collective consciousness. Today we are looking at nine signs that your ego is dissolving, but first a short housekeeping message. Blue Soul content and upcoming courses, workshops, and products are only possible through the support of the community. If you feel that you gain any value through Blue Soul Community, then please consider supporting our mission through the link in the show notes below. We are so appreciative of your continued support, and without further ado, let's talk about the nine signs that your ego is dissolving. What is the ego? It is experienced as self. It's who we believe we are. Ego quite literally comes from the Latin word I. Ego has controlled many of our lives at one point or another. It is what we identify with, with our perceptions, our ideas, and our beliefs. Ego is also associated with our motives and our conscious thoughts that lead our day-to-day -day activities. Ego can be pretty judgmental. It is our primal instincts. Um, it tends to be what we project ourselves uh, to others, how we want them to see us. It's also how we see ourselves. It's what we think of when we think of self, I, or me. It is the conscious decision-making aspect of our personality that uses our experiences and our beliefs when making decisions. So let's see, is your ego dissolving? Number one, you have a heightened sense of self-awareness. You realize that you are the master of your thoughts. You are highly observant of how you react to your environment, the thoughts that go through your mind on a daily basis, and how you feel in certain situations. You understand why you reacted to certain things in the past and what brought you to this moment today. Through understanding yourself at a deeper level, you're able to practice more self-love and self-acceptance. The person that has desires and these wants and these ideas in life that stems from the ego. When we start dissolving the ego, we tend to take on the role of the observer. We put the ego in the back seat and our soul is now the driver. We can simply sit back and acknowledge the thoughts that stem from the ego, but choose not to let them rule our lives or how we react or respond to our environment. We simply allow our thoughts and feelings and even the events in our environment to unfold in front of us. We're able to observe the ego through the eyes of the soul or of higher consciousness. We do not judge and we do not let the ego drive. We simply choose what thoughts and actions we allow or don't allow. Number two, you gain new perceptions on a deeper level. You come to realize that we wasted a lot of time trying to prove our worth to the world through an artificial image that doesn't quite align with our souls anymore. You're gaining greater clarity on how you spend your time and the people you surround yourself with. You're changing your habits, your interests, and your interactions with the world. You're finding greater clarity in life and you possibly had a sudden change in your life path. Or perhaps you're going after a deep-rooted intuition of something that you've been wanting to follow for quite some time but you have pushed to the back burner because it just didn't quite align with society or what your ego said that you should be doing. You're seeing the world through an ever-changing point of perspective and you're allowing to just observe and respond to what unfolds in your environment rather than reacting to it, which makes it easier to see other people's perspectives and understand where they are coming from. Number three, you are experiencing a disassociation with your past self. Past ideas, thoughts, habits, activities, interests, they may no longer align with who you feel you are today. You feel like you can't quite relate with it and it doesn't really feel like it was you. You feel reborn, you're a new person. Part of your ego is quite literally dying and you are shifting from an old vibrational frequency into a new vibrational pattern. You are letting go of what no longer serves your higher purpose and allowing room for new perspectives and ideas to enter your life. Number four, you begin responding rather than reacting. You're learning to trust the process and understand that everything happens for a reason. Your response to the environment is more stable, calm, and intelligent as you allow yourself to take a step back, pause, take a breath, and analyze the situation before you respond to it. You're also learning to accept the events that happen in your life as you understand that they have a greater underlying purpose. Number five, your mind gets quieter. You end up having less stress 
less worry, less anxiety. You're not overanalyzing or overthinking as often. You're having less intrusive thoughts and you are no longer associating or giving attention to those unwelcomed thoughts. You remind yourself daily that you are the master of your thoughts and the dissolution of Ego means that you talk less and you listen more because the ego loves to talk and the soul is on a never ending quest to learn. Number six, your need to be somebody disappears. In general, you are more content and you have more inner peace. You're no longer looking to prove your worth because you have this deeper understanding of who you really are. This is where true freedom really lies. It's to appreciate every moment and to love the ebb and flow equally. You know who you are on a deep internal level and you understand that peace, love, and happiness comes from within. You have clarity in your desires. You understand that previously a lot of these desires, they stemmed from your ego and through your ego, it stems from a lot of comparison and a lot of competition. You end up finding yourself just wanting to be your authentic self with people and digging deep into their mind to understand how they work. Sign number seven, your instinct to compare yourself dissolves. You understand that we are all on our own unique journey. We are our own unique soul with our own unique gifts. Yet we are all connected. We are all part of the same source energy. We have the same energy in our deepest layers of our spiritual bodies. You find more contentment and authenticity as you follow your soul's purpose in life. You are radiating love, self-love and love for those around you, which dissolves the need to compare because you understand that we are all on our own journeys and comparing yourself with other people just doesn't make sense because it dampens your own light. It's a waste of energy. Sign number eight is you find yourself being more compassionate because you realize and you understand that we are all one. We are all connected. We are family. We are brothers and we are sisters. You find yourself caring for others, even strangers on a deeper, more interconnected level. We are all going through our own sets of challenges that we are meant to overcome in this lifetime. We are all suffering, we are all going through pain, yet we are all on the quest for happiness and love. Through compassion, you find yourself radiating more love. These higher realms vibrate the frequency of love and when you are also within that frequency, it's far easier to connect with them. They are here with you and they are dancing in harmony and you can feel them. You feel their presence and you live with them by your side every day. And sign number nine is you replace judgment with acceptance. You're less focused on dividing who is awakened and who is still stuck in the matrix and you're more focused on your own journey. You operate with the understanding that everyone is doing the best that they can with the tools that they have. When you see someone doing something that you don't like, instead of judging them, you find yourself accepting them. You find yourself looking and interacting with them through compassion and love as you understand that they are just going through their own journey just as you are, just as I am. So I'm curious, have you experienced any of the signs of the ego dissolving? Let us know in the comments below. I love you all so much. Please give this video a like, subscribe, and comment so we can help reach some people who might benefit from hearing this message today. Go ahead and check out one of these videos on the screen. Stay blue and I will see you over there. At least to start putting some Number two, ugh. number two, ugh.